Hi, it's Jennifer. Welcome back to our channel. Today is Wednesday, uh, November the 17th, and I am currently waiting to hear back from when I'm supposed to start my new job. The kids are at school, Richard's at work, so I kind of have the apartment to myself, which <laughs> hasn't happened in a very long time. Because, and it's weird too, because I'm used to two years of having everyone home all the time. So I thought I'd make a video just showing how I'm spending my day relaxing. I may go out and go for a walk. It's pretty cold right now. It's not raining, but it's cold. It's like 30 degrees. So my feet are freezing and I haven't had that kind of weather in a long time. Richard says I'm probably the worst Canadian on the planet because I can't handle cold weather anymore. <laughs> And it's weird, you know, 25 years of living in extremely cold weather and then 15 years of living in Florida and then now I can't handle anything. So uh, right now I'm just staying inside with the heat. But I think maybe towards the afternoon I might go out and walk around a bit and explore by myself. Uh, it's a half day for the kids, so they'll be home earlier than usual. But I should still have enough time to look around and see things. So... Uh, yeah, let's get started. After I came back from dropping off the kids at their school bus stop, I decided to make a cup of tea. Because I was so cold, I thought it would help warm me up. This is my new Starbucks mug. I used to have one with hearts on it, but I left that one behind in Florida. So I thought it was appropriate to get a Seattle one. I also have been liking this apple tea lately. It's really good. I bought it from Daiso which is like a Japanese dollar store. And it's something that I didn't previously have access to, but it actually does have a really good apple flavor. I was able to find a candle in the Target downtown shortly after we arrived, so I was very happy about that. And I always like to light a candle because it just makes the room that you're in feel more relaxing. And this one is scented and it kind of smells like Christmas to me, so I thought it was appropriate for this time of year. Lately I've been getting interested in looking at uh, Japanese magazines. I no longer have any paper copies of books at all. I gave my manga to my mother, so I, w I wanted something else just to be able to look at so I wasn't looking at screens all the time. And I really like these Japanese magazines because they have really nice pictures and it's really neat to see different areas of Japan and I also like seeing the fashion and what kind of clothes they wear over there. Well, I'm not able to read everything in the books, I still feel like I get a lot out of it and they, they're just really relaxing to look at. It's been really nice to uh, being home and being able to sit in the quiet and just have a cup of tea and look at a magazine. I might have some uh, jazz music playing in the background sometimes because it kind of makes it more relaxing as well. So today was just a really nice, comfortable day. And I'm going to be updating you guys on my wardrobe because obviously I've added some warmer pieces so that I don't freeze. <laughs> Most of my Florida clothes were insufficient. I wasn't able to get a lot of clothes because the stores are out of pretty much everything. But I will show you, uh, hopefully in the next video, what I have bought so far to wear here and it's working out fairly well. After relaxing for a bit I decided to go into Yale and sometimes Colin's room and tidy it up because there were toys and clothes and I don't know what all over the place on the floor so I cleaned everything up and organized it into bins. We have bought some bins from Daiso to help us organize things until we have more furniture or an idea of exactly how we're going to use this small space for all of us to live in. So I will be showing, like I said before, a tour of the apartment once I have things better organized. After finishing my tea and relaxing for a bit, I decided to do some yoga. 
I, well, right now I have the whole entire living room. It's kind of like my yoga studio when Colin isn't sleeping in the living room. So I had a lot of space to do yoga and it was uh, quite nice. When I was doing yoga, I got a notification that we had a package downstairs and I already knew what the package was. It's uh, something that my husband ordered for work. So I figured I'd go get it and open it up so that you guys could see it. And it's actually a laptop bag that he needs to carry his work stuff in. Also, he's going to be riding one of these scooters. He ordered a scooter so that he could get to and from work faster, because it's about a mile and a half from where we live, so with the scooter, it only takes him about five minutes, which would normally take 40 minutes or so to walk. So yeah, that's his laptop bag that he got for work. We also, the night before, we got uh, stools that we had to put together, and we weren't able to put them together last night. So I figured, hey, why don't I try putting them together today? because I had time, and to my surprise, I was able to do it by myself. It's actually the first thing I've ever, or the only thing I've ever put together on my own, building-wise, related to furniture. So Richard was very impressed when I showed him that I had done that on my own, and it also saved him time later. After expertly putting together these bar stools, I decided to take a walk to the grocery store and I picked up some groceries. I got a lot of Asian food because it's one of my favorite things to eat. So some of this stuff is for the kids for their lunches for school. Colin loves uh, cucumber sushi. So I got him that to have. And I got some fruit for myself. There seems to be a lot uh, wider selection of fruit and vegetables to eat here, which is great because I haven't been able to get much in Florida. So I'll be eating a lot of different fruits. And I also got uh, onigiri for the kids for their lunch. They also <laughs> really like that. And Richard loves to eat this inari. So I bought that for him. Richard was going to be working late, so I got myself some, um, some spring rolls to have for my dinner and I made the kids ramen. So, how was your second day of school? Pretty good. Okay. Did you have a lot of fun? Okay. Yes. Did you meet some friends? Oh, yes, yes. I made a new friend. Yes, I did. Um, Do you like going to school in Seattle? Yes. It's actually more fun I than would... I thought it would be. So, so good, good second day of school. Yes. Okay. Sure. After Richard got home and he had dinner, we decided to go for our walk. We still do our nightly walks. This time we just walk around a more exciting uh, atmosphere. We get to see things that we don't always see every day, which is neat because we try to go in different directions and learn the area with our walks. We usually end up going pretty late now that he's home later from work, but I still enjoy it. It's just really neat to have something else to look at other than trees and other people's houses like we had to look at in Florida when we went for a walk. We also ended up finding out that when we got back to the apartment we had more furniture that had come so we had to put that together and so we spent some time putting that together. So I've just had a shower and we're probably going to watch some Netflix or something and then go to bed. Well, that's all I have for today. I'm going to end this video with a sneak peek at our new Seattle bedroom.
I hope you enjoyed this video and please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.